What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the Brew Lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the Brew Lab, I'm coming at you with a Crackle with Power Deck that uh, has been doing some things for me on the ladder. I climbed back up into the 90% or something today. I went at one point like 75% uh, win rate over 15 matches or something. Just, you know, when I get a performance like that, even though I'm supposed to be on a little break while we wait for the new set to arrive, I thought it's time to uh, jump on the camera and show my, my viewers this deck because uh, it pops off. So without further ado, let's jump into tonight's brew. I'm calling it Crackle Fable. And I'm going to do the usual, describe the deck for you guys from left to right. Uh, you know, explain to you why it is that I've picked the cards to go in the deck, how it is that they synergize with the other cards in the deck, if at all, and what some of the various play lines and interactions are. And then we'll jump into some mythic ladder gameplay footage and hopefully illustrate as many of those play lines and interactions for you against some opponents at uh, the mythic level. And uh, that way you'll get to see the deck do its thing it's in, in its entirety and you can decide whether it's worth crafting up. Uh, then we'll jump back in at the end with my final thoughts overall deck review and you know just have a, a little chat about it and see if there's any adjustments that we need to make of course as usual all of those adjustments will be reflected in the deck list that you can see in the video description down below so we start off with the full play set of the shambling ghast it uh, makes treasures you know the whole aim of the game here is to make lots and lots of treasures so we can do a cracker with power for 20 damage to the opponent's face <laughs> massive fireball so Everything in the deck is just helping us maximize treasure production. Shambling Gas is, of course, one great way to start doing that. And it's also a great sacrificial fodder for our Deadly Dispute, which is also making treasures and helps us churn through our deck to find our combo pieces. Uh, then we've got a sneaky alternate wind con in the form of Dragon Spark Reactor. Uh, it gets a charge counter on it whenever an artifact enters the battlefield. Um, and then you can pay four, sacrifice it, and it deals damage equal to the number of charge counters on it to target player and that much damage to one creature. So quite nice that it's like both. And, um, you know, each uh, treasure that enters the battlefield is an artifact. So that'll be triggering the Dragon Spark Reactor. So that's a sneaky little alternate win con, but it's also a way of like, you know, sometimes we can't get to that required mana to do the crackle with power that we want the full 20 um so if we can get the opponent down a little bit to like whatever 15 or 10 or something then uh, all the better and dragon spark reactor uh can help us along the way and also can be a nice little bit of creature removal which there isn't much of in the deck so uh nice little two of then we've got three copies of kalein the reclusive painter Again, more treasures. Whenever it enters the battlefield, uh, it creates a treasure token. And it can help us also make a little bit bigger gold span, a little bit bigger at sushi, a little bit bigger of a Zorn. You know, whatever creature we cast uh, using treasures enters the battlefield with the number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the amount of treasure spent to cast them. So if, for example, you spend only treasures to cast your at sushi, it'll come into play as an 8 8 Frampler. Pretty nice. Uh, you know, the same can be said of Goldspan Dragon, except it will come into play as a 9-9 with Flying in Haste that also makes more treasures. So just fantastic. A uh, little bit of synergy there with, with Kalein. Then we did need a Sweeper in case we run into some heavy aggro action. Uh, so Metook Massacre is, is my Sweeper of choice in this case. And because we have so much treasure generation, we usually sort of ahead. The problem with the Metook Massacre when the aggro decks are too quick is that you can't um, get enough mana in time to, you know, pay two and X is, you know, four or five or whatever you need it to be to really sweep the board completely. Uh, and then you still have to deal with creature lands and stuff. So, w but with a lot of treasures, we can uh, generally get ahead of the of the curve and, and um, you know, sweep the opponent and then continue with our game plan off of a, a clean slate. Then we've got another crucial piece of the puzzle, Fable of the Mirror, blah, 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 Fable of the Mirror Breaker. You know, Crackle Fable, Crackle with Power, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They're two crucial parts here because. Okay, well, first of all, first chapter makes a little sh shaman guy that also makes treasures. Important. Second chapter allows us to churn for our library, finding our combo pieces. Also important. So, you know, Deadly Dispute, the second chapter of the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Uh, the first death trigger of Atsushi, exile the top two cards of your library until end of turn you may play those cards. And Unexpected Windfall. Between those cards, that's quite a lot of card advantage that we can generate, so quite nice. And then when it finally flips into Reflection of Kikijiki, you can pay one colorless tablet, 
create a, tra a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control, except it has haste. Um, sacrifice at the beginning of, of the next end step. So the cool thing is here, of course, is uh, with gold span, your treasures are tapping for two mana if you have one gold span in play. But if you have two gold span in play, you know, uh, it gets exponentially more. You can, uh, the more gold spans you have in play, the more mana you can generate off of your treasures. And so uh, that's the plan here. We're trying to copy at least one of our gold spans when it's in play. And then all of the treasure that we have uh, will just tap for an obscene amount of mana, which is will be the mana that we need to pour into Crackle with power. So now for Crackle with Power to do 20 damage, it's 5 uh, times 4, right? So we need to do X is 4. Uh, so 4 divided by uh, 4 times 4, 8, 12. Wait, well, am I doing this correctly? 5, 10, 15, 20 is to face. So we need to do X is 4. So uh, 4 times 3, 4, 8, 12, 16. 18 mana? Is that right? Am I doing this right? No, I'm not. Uh, so 20 damage. Man, my math is shot, especially this late in the night. But anyway, we need a lot of mana. <laughs> and uh, uh, copying a gold span with Kiki Jiki is, is uh, one way of, of getting there with all of the treasures that we're creating. Another way of getting there is Zorn which makes additional treasures whenever you know what you whenever you're making a treasure you make more treasure so if we can also copy our zorn with kiki jiki and then just swing in with the the little goblins here or gold span or you know some you know our sushi dies or we first copy the um the zorn and then cast an unexpected windfall you, we can make a lot a lot of treasures uh, which brings us to our four drops. We've already touched upon Atsushi's first death trigger, but we're really after the second one because we've got enough card advantage. But sometimes I'll pick the first one, but really we're here for the for the treasures. <laughs> so, you know, it creates three treasures when it dies. Fantastic. Unexpected windfall. Again, making treasures and uh, helping us churn through our library to find our combo pieces. Goldspan Dragon doubles our treasures, uh, ability to make mana and is just a fantastic win con in and of itself. You know, you can just sometimes win games by attacking face with a gold span dragon and uh, and crackle with power. So that's the deck. Uh, the mana base is just uh, one of each creature land, one of each of the legendary lands from Kamigawa. And we've got another little treasure generator here in the form of the treasure vault. So like if we have Zorn down and uh, you know, it's, it's two X, so you have to divide everything by two and uh, you'll make you know a bunch of treasures and again all of those will trigger the dragon spark reactor and will um you know be able to cast and you know use them for double mana or potentially quadruple the you know triple mana if we have uh one of these gold spans copied from kiki jiki or if we just naturally happen to have two gold spans in play um and yeah that's again going to help us with this big crackle fireball that we're trying to get off of and the rest are just basics and duels as always that's the brew crackle fable Let's jump into some games. I'm trying to have fun in Mythic before the new set drops, guys. I've been repeating myself a bit over the last couple of videos, but fun is the name of the game right now. We just want to enjoy ourselves and not play meta decks. I'm sick of it. I always get sick of it towards the end of the format. It's just the, the nature of the game, but... Oh, that's a terrible hand. But I don't want to risk... Yeah, let's keep it, whatever. I don't want to risk uh, ending up with no lands off of a mulligan. Oh, God. <laughs> sure. Hmm, Kogari. Graveyard stuff. Ooh, Abzan. Oh, wow. It's a Grease fan deck, and we are flooding like crazy. Patchy boy.
jiggle my lantern at you. Ra 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 ra. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. We'll take it. It's fine. Let's uh chuck some of these lands away, man. Jesus. You've gotta be joking. Probably crew the uh, mech titan core with the hotshot mechanic. That's okay, we're just after the treasures here. Sure. <clears throat> no problemo. Hopefully, not an, a grease fang now. That would be quite problematic. Woo! Yeah, we're definitely blocking. Let's go for the treasures. That is the most epic flood in a long time, guys. Like, how many lands has that been? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Usually it's the other way around. Um, okay, so how much mana do we have here? Two, four. Wait, I always like to test it, right? Because I couldn't do my math earlier. So we need 12, 14. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Cool. More lands. Wow. He's probably going to take out our Kiki Jiki here, I would presume. No? Okay, sure. That's fine. I think we block. I think we can just block. was uh gonna be in your hand very soon and now you've put it in the yard oh yes that's done it can uh
Good game. Okay, so I didn't quite get the big fireball. We got put under quite a bit of pressure by that, uh... Man, I can... Patchwork Automaton. Featured in yesterday's uh, quick little mono white brew. I still haven't done this Abzan Grease Fang thing yet with... Uh, what's his face? The, uh... A Seeker's Chariot and, and Grease Fang and stuff. We'll, we'll have to try that maybe tomorrow. I still haven't built that deck. Like the whole... I just felt it was a little bit cheesy. But it's definitely one of the better decks to come out of the Neon Dynasty meta. Maybe not super competitive, but definitely great for the memes. Yeah, sure. Looks like ninjas. There are many secrets I don't know, but not for long. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Ah. Here comes some ninjutsuing. You run into like one ninja deck a day, like maybe, maybe. A surprisingly small number of ninja decks, like... The win con is very weird. Now he has to, like... Remove the thousand face shadow. Ah, oh, bugger. And the next turn he can, like, bring it in. Wonder what he'll get rid of. That's sushi. That sucks. Major. You're good, but I'm better. Mm. Oh, I just lost myself the game here. Yeah. It's quite possible. Can we take one more hit? Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's gonna bring this in and copy that. I may just have lost myself the game here. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Should have used the uh, Deadly Dispute. Then we would have had enough mana for the meat hook. This is what I was digging for. I think we lost. If he copies the Fur Master and gives all the ninjas another plus one plus one, he'll probably flash, uh, you know, bring away the Network Disruptor. Okay, he's only got mana for one of these. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. First misplay of the night. Hopefully the last one. Sorry guys, that was a that was a mistake. I should have used the deadly dispute. We would have been able to sweep the board there. So silly. Hey, we live and we learn. And we roll with the punches. On to the next one.
Okay. Weird hands. Boros aggro. Uh oh. There he is. Brutal Cathar. No? Oh, Naya. Okay. Naya aggro. It's been a while since I played this. Interesting. I guess he's getting ready for cabaretti shenanigans. Shambly boy. I'm gonna dispute the fable. We need land. Means we only need to do an X is uh, X is three. If we can just get one point of damage in more, yeah, probably not next turn, but the one after that, we've got him. The little protection, just in case. We'll still be able to do it. And if he does get rid of it, better. Now we can just go X as 2. Sure. That's fine. Poor guy, he's bricking like crazy. So we need uh, six, three, four, five. Oh, we're one short. Okay, next turn. Don't concede. Don't concede. Please don't concede. Ah. <laughs> I mean, you see, so like... Sometimes you can just win with your dragons. You don't need to do the crackle thing. The dragons are enough to just slam the opponent's face to the ground like usual. And Goldspan's been winning people games for a while now. How are we doing for time? Ah, plenty time. But I do want to be doing these videos a little bit shorter. So I just want to get off like one nice crackle and maybe copy a gold span with the uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker and we can call it a night. I don't think we'll go the full 45 minutes. Ebonhawk. Ah. Okay. Um, 
lot of my friends are online. Busy night. You guys been doing any theory crafting for the new set? And if so, what have you been theory crafting? Biblical flood. Holy cow. That is some flooding. Aha. Does he actually have blue lands or is he just was he planning on only casting that off of the uh, replicating ring interesting all right nine ten eleven or five <clears throat> plus nine with close Never. Just do an X is two next turn. I had a feeling that was coming. More treasure. Can't counter anything with that, can he? Boosh! <laughs> oh, I haven't gotten tired of it yet, and I've been playing it all day. <laughs> Especially against decks that just, you know, they don't have the counter spell. They're slowly trying to like get out their planeswalkers or whatever and you just it's great against like orzov mid-range and all those asses because you've got very you know fine you killed my gold span with your vanishing verse it's not my main win con here i've still got this huge fireball in my hand devastor all right probably the last match of the night i do need to get some beauty sleep guys i've been up too late for too many nights in a row and i want to really recoup my full energies for um the next set i'm like i'm, I'm dying to get cracking with the new cards Ooh, a cobra would you look at that Sultai Cobra stuff. Sultai Ramp. 88 card pile. Devastor, what are you up to, mate? Don't you know that you shouldn't be playing this type of stuff? <laughs> we just do that anyway. Ask you down. We don't want anyone with that many cards getting through their library any faster than necessary. Wow, pure jank. I love it. This comes into play as a 5 5. Is 
he's got removal, we can just uh, clearly dispute whatever he points the removal at. Okay, so that's going for the gold span, so we might as well. And then we'll lose the Kalein too, but that's okay. Go for the treasures. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, oh, I was hoping we'd get the crackle. There it is. Let's see how much mana we need for a three. It's nine, ten, eleven, four, seven, eight, nine. So we're close. There is blue here, so I don't want to get this counted. Oh, that's terrible. We're gonna lose all of our treasures. <laughs> all right. not seen that card in ever mm. the roll knock of all things Oh well, we just win this way. Need one more mana. Let's do this. Imagine that's a counter spell. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight's gameplay footage. Like I said, I want to make these a little shorter, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. We did manage to go almost undefeated. There was a terrible misplay on my behalf there at one point where we probably could have won the game on the spot. But uh, like I said, we live and learn and we roll with the punches. We're jumping back into the deck now at the end of the video with some final thoughts. Fun. Absolutely freaking fun. Giant fireballs at the opponent have always been something that I've enjoyed to do in Magic since I was, you know, a kid at my LGS. Uh, I was always a bit of a red burn mage back in the day. And, um, yeah, that none of that fun has faded off. I still really enjoy just like a big... And if you read the card carefully, it's 
five damage X times to, up to each of X targets. So if you do like X is four, you know, you can do 20 to face, 20 to something else, 20 to, you know, you can do 80 damage. It's insane. I love this card. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think with, uh, you know, all of the treasures that you can make with some of the new cards from Kamigawa as well. And with this, the obscene treasure stuff that's coming in uh, Streets of New Capenna, this might be something that's viable. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to like flesh it out and see what else we can add and remove to make it more consistent and, um, you know, better against certain matchups. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What would you have done differently? How would you have built it uh, in, an, in another way? And um, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, most importantly. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. And until then... This is Lone Fox from the Brew Lab, signing out. Peace, y'all.